Hello everybody, my name is Drew and welcome back to more Material Energy Hypercubed. Picking up here in the observatory where I have taken a beating in the last couple days, guys. Oh good god. Uh, I've been slowly but surely trying to clean up the universe. And uh, it has not been easy going. This level here is is like everything in my nightmares right now. I'm still battling the rotunda just a little bit off camera. Mostly because... That's not where that goes. Mostly because there's still a lot of things to discover in it. Um, and it's proving to be really difficult. Because despite putting all the torches down as many as I can, there is just like an endless stream of enemies still. That like, I don't even know how they're even getting here. Because they shouldn't be. They should not be able to get in here. And yet somehow, they're still like, they're still making it in here. It's, it's infuriating because there's enemies spawning. Like, I haven't had this many enemies spawning on the top of this thing since forever. Maybe because they were all downstairs and I killed them and now suddenly their spawns opening up again. But there's just, there's too much. Just, just too much. And it's the bloody zombies. Of anything else, it is the damn zombies. Like, where did he even come from? He came from somewhere below me. He should not have been able to spawn at all. Like, there's, there's just too many. There is just too many enemies. Uh, I did go down, and however, go down, blah, blah, go down, however, and went very, very deep, went to the base. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck you, buddy. We're done here. Um, went down to the very base of the level, pumped out a ton of lava, um, also pumped out the central lava pillar, filled up these two tanks with lava, so we've got... Not a ton, like we've only got 32 buckets in that one and 128 in that gun. That one. But it is enough lava for now. Uh, we will be able to keep our smelter running just fine. And more importantly, I was able to get the Vulcanite, baby. Um, mostly because the Obsidian Hammer has Manelium Mining Level. Ha ha. So with that, I was able to get ourselves nine blocks of Vulcanite. Which I'm going to turn very happily into a whole bunch of ingots, which should complete this quest, which is going to give us 20 blaze powder, a reward bag, a vulcanite arrowhead, and a vulcanite binding. Well, the arrowhead and things don't really interest me that much yet. They may be inter they may be useful later on. That's what I meant to say. Uh, so we can go ahead and put the arrowhead and the binding in here. Let's take this guy. Let's grab that reward bag. It's a good reward bag. Hopefully, this will. That is something nice. Hey, sand. We're going to go check that out this episode then. Um, however, I do have a few plans. I have a few plans for things. Uh, one of those being how we're going to continue with uh, some other stuff. But more importantly, we've got ourselves a new area to explore. I did want to try building some of the uh, farms today. I really want to try that out and see what we can't get going on that. Uh, we have a ton of fertilizer. We've got over a thousand fertilizer and more more than enough supplies to make more as well as I can just go back into the biosphere and get more. So, we might be, uh, may, bleh, I am having so much trouble speaking today. We, we may very well do that at some point as well. Let's throw that in there. We desperately need more storage, which is why I built chests. Is it low tech? Absolutely. Do I need it? Yeah, yes. Yes, we need it. So we're going to go with the low tech for now. We don't have a lot of storage left in our current AE configuration. We definitely, definitely need more, um, what do you call them, uh, storage things. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, uh, my armor took a beating, as you can see. I'm using Invar boots now, mostly because of the feather falling. And then uh, my, my helmet and everything else are slowly dying. But we, we might be able to use this Vulcanite for something cool. Um, I do want to make... I do want to make a Vulcanite pickaxe, though. And I don't think I have a pickaxe mold. Because where are the other axe heads that I've got? Well, I've got Prometheum, which is only a level of stone. I've got the Karmot pickaxe, which would mine up to Cobalt, which would be significantly better than the Iron pickaxe, for obvious reasons. However, if I could just switch out the iron head 
for a Vulcanite head, that might do the trick. So we're going to try that. Um, the other options I would have, I put them somewhere. I'm just not sure where I put them. Ah, there we go. So we do have an Ignatius, but that's only for iron. This would get me up to obsidian, which I've already got. Those are some axe heads. Don't care. Did I not have more pickaxe heads? See, I thought I did. What I should also have is a dedicated point for all of my... Oh, what's in here? Hold on. Pocophenium. I don't know what that means. No idea. So that's not helping me. Nope. All right, look in that one. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one, right? Yeah. Okay, so... No, no dice. No, no dice. But that's fine. We will try and make one. So let's go ahead. Blank patterns. Let's grab those two blank patterns out of there. Let's go on over here. Put those on our sensor table. We're going to grab one of these. And now I can go over here to the part builder. And not wood, because wood won't help us here. I do need stone. So we'll make stone. Um, do I have casts? I do some blank casts. So let's grab a blank cast. Uh, now, normally this wouldn't help us either, but I'm going to melt the blank cast unless... Do I have two ingots? Oh, I do have gold. Oh, good. I want to grab that guy. So this guy, right there. He's going to go in here, and then I'm going to say gold, select our gold, and I'm going to hit that guy. So that'll make ourselves some, oh, well, goodbye gold, or whatever. I want to empty this guy anyway. So there we go. Now we have ourselves a pickaxe cast, which I will leave there, happily enough. And let's put in, like... that much of Vulcanite. I don't want to go too crazy here. I don't want to go crazy enough. So we're going to throw that guy down there. I do need to store these patterns. So why don't we use a chest? We'll use the ender chest. Actually, that works out for, well for me. So I'm going to break this ender chest. Oh, fucker. God damn it. Apparently you can't break ender chests. Pain in the ass. Although the other ender chest out here so that we can access both of them. Doop. There we go. And now I can put my cast and stuff in there. All right, let's make ourselves. Oh, that's gold. No, fuck. God, ah, God damn it. Not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Fulton. Okay, so let's see what happens here. Bam. So we got ourselves a Vulcanite pickaxe head. So what can this mine up to? Manalium. Ooh, excellent. Ignite level two. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I wonder what kind of damage that's going to do to things that we're mining. So if I put this guy in there and this guy in here... This will change out to that. It'll become, ooh, nice. Look at that. Bam. So we lose the iron head, which is not necessarily a bad thing. Holy Jesus Christ, that's fast. Well, that's unexpected. So, wait, wonder what happens. Oh, good. It doesn't actually do any, like... See, I was worried what was going to happen would be that it would start... Um, auto smelting but I guess it doesn't do that but this just became the new greatest thing in the universe to me cool um no if I wanted to make a hammer how does one make a hammer because if I could upgrade the obsidian hammer to have a vulcanite head so I just need a hammer head right yeah yeah it's looking like that okay so where let's go ahead let's make a pattern of a hammer head Yep, I'll take that. And we'll change that out for some Vulcanite as well. Because that's just going to be crazy useful for us. Out of there. Oh, well, didn't need, didn't need that anyway, apparently. 
I'm going to have to be very careful, very, very careful about what I hit. Because, <laughs> oh my God, this thing's fast. I was not expecting it to be that fast. Sweet. Vulcanite is amazing. Okay, so we got that going down. Let's throw that away. You away. Can I make Vulcanite armor? What oh, can make Vulcanite armor? Durability 374 versus 222 or 220. X. I'm wow. I'm really can't speak. Well, let's put the Vulcanite away for now. Uh, I will make. Is that part maker right there? I will make this guy using some cobble. Wait, can I not? There we go. Okay, so there's our stone pickaxe head. Now I think we're out of gold, but that's fine. We can use the blank cast that I had. And we're going to need some lava. So let's grab a bucket. Because we're running a little bit low on the lava in the old smelter. I'm excited to go mining with this now. We'll have to, we'll have to load up the uh, miner's delight. I want to see what that is going to be like. So let's throw that in there real quick. I'm going to take that cast out and put in our stone pickaxe head. Taking a long time to melt. We can put that away, that away, that away. And everything else is probably okay. Ooh, I will take that. Okay, how are we doing? Gold proving it's perfect. Go ahead and do that. Now, how many ingots do I have left of vulcanite? Perfect. I have eight. The exact number I need, conveniently. All right. So if I hit, um, let's make sure vulcanite is on the bottom. It is. So I hit that. So I'm hoping that the durability on the obsidian hammer just goes like right up, because if it does. Ooh, I can tell you that it's going to be a good time. Bam. So that's one of the things I really like about the extra Tinker's Mod stuff that allows for replaceable parts, and especially the levels. Leveling your tools up really makes you want to keep using them. Now, I think I need a full... Yeah, okay, I need full durability on that guy. Okay, so we'll have to hold off on that for just a little bit. Let's do a couple things. We're going to load up the Miner's Delight. I'm going to put my pump and my guy in this one. Cool. Uh, I will get rid of the Dark Ethereal Glass that I don't need. The Blaze Powder, that guy, that guy. Oh, no, we're full. We're full. Never mind. So this is why we need more storage, you guys. It's critical that we get more storage. So let's grab Miner's Delight out of here. Actually, we could grab Vanilla Mining because that's got stuff that we want in it. But let's grab Vanilla's Delight. Pull up the Rotunda. Slap my tongue. Okay. Go like that. I will try to sound at sa sound. Sand out after. Um, oh, wait. It just occurred to me that these are Enderium blocks. Wait. That's not an Enderium block. That is a reward bag. I keep... I, I got to, like... Do I just need to spend like a whole episode doing nothing but like checking every goddamn block known to mankind? Because like half of these are a lie. They're not even what I think they are, just Indium Nuggets, but still. I'm standing here realizing like, wait just a moment. Let's open these. Ooh, cookies. And a good cabinet. Cool. Let's go back up to the observatory. And we will hit the Miner's Delight for half a second. I want to see how fast this bad boy is going to actually be. I have no... Wow. That's, uh, that is fast. That is very, very fast. Like, that is, that is insane how fast that is. Wow. 
So I need to mine a whole bunch of coal. Because I need more coal for A power, B for torches. I need a lot of torches. I also need to make uh, a whole bunch of trees and cut them down. So having a tree farm using the farming block might also be a good idea, you guys. And we could just make some basic iron pickaxes or iron uh, hand axes or whatever. Some vanilla ones and uh, go from there. But, oh good God, this is so fast. So much luck do I have on this and how many modifiers do I have open? That's what I want to do. Modifiers remaining seven. Really? Okay, so this needs a lot of luck. And let's go with some of this stuff too. So here's what I'm thinking. This might be my pickaxe for like the rest of the game. Because it mines up to Manalium, which is, as far as I'm aware, the hardest of all substances in Minecraft. Which means we should be able to mine just about anything that we come across. Look at that. Man, this is just... I'm, I cannot get over how fast this is. Oh god, Legendary Plus. Oh Jesus. That's just not even fair. The reason I want a lot of Lapis is because I'm going to throw as much luck on this as I can get. So having stacks upon stacks of Lapis is probably going to be overkill, to be perfectly honest. But you need a lot of Lapis in order to really maximize everything. Let's go back up top. Ah, right, cool. Let's uh, let's try throwing this on there, and then uh, here's what I think is going to happen. We're going to load the sand up, see what that's like, and then maybe take a quick cut in the video while I work on some other stuff off screen, and then we can try building farms. But let's quickly go like this. Okay, so we just got a lot of lapis. So if I go over to our table and put down our vulcanite guy, put that and that there. Really? I can't put any more luck on that. Really? You're telling me that I've maxed that out? That I can't do another level of luck? Well, that's just unfortunate then, isn't it? Okay, about speed? Can I make it faster? Oh, hell yeah, I can make it faster. Well, that's upsetting, because I really wanted a higher level of luck on this guy. Because getting that would just be insanity, because you would get so much. But we can definitely make this guy faster. So what's our speed now? 26.96. So it definitely makes it a lot faster. What modifiers can I put on this guy? I'm just annoyed that I can't put any more luck on him. That's that's really unfortunate. But whatever, can't can't do anything about that now. Okay, let's go see what the sand is about. I want to know. I need to know. So let's hit that guy. All right, so it comes out. Sand goes in. Watch it be, oh, okay, it wasn't lying. It's literally just sand. <laughs> Does it go right to the damn top? I would appear that it goes right to the top, guys. Hold on. Let's, let's see. Let's see what's going on. I mean, if I needed a lot of sand, this is uh, this is more or less the way to do it. Now, is there, like, reward chests stuffed in places? Because that would be hilarious if that was true. Because it, right now it's looking like the answer to that would be, uh, no. Let's see. Let's go all the way across. So far, it appears to literally just be sand. <laughs> that is hilarious. So how would you even complete a room like this? Honestly, let's not get too crazy here. I don't want anything spawning on me. Oh, 
Oh man, that is hilarious. It is li it's literally just a room of sand. Interesting. So if we wanted like sandstone and stuff, this this would be how we did it. Oh hey, I can get a vulcanite shovel. Ooh. Ooh, that's a good idea. All right, we're doing that. That that's a thing that's happening. 100% that's happening. Uh I think I'm at a stencils though. So let's go. Or no, I want pattern. Blank. Pattern. Go over to here. Go do, do, do. And I wanted that guy. Which I think is similar to the other one. Needs eight. So we'll grab eight. Actually, we'll grab, 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 grab two gold. And I'm going to make that. All right. So in the meantime, so we're going to go down. We don't have a lot of time left in the episode. So I'm going to make a quick cut. I'm going to do this and I will be uh, right back. Alrighty, guys, we're back. And I have done some pretty cool stuff. I decided to make a full set of armor out of Vulcanite because it's got fairly high durability and it's fairly enchantable. And here's what I came up with. The helmet's got a breaking one. Kind of shitty. But the chest plate... And the leggings, both have protection. In protection three on the leggings and two on the chest plate. Pretty good. I'm breaking on the leg plates or leggings, which is also really good. And speed one and fire protection on the boots. So not great boots, but the speed is nice. So we kind of zoom around here. Uh, it's it served me well so far. I'm actually fairly well protected now. I, I also went ahead and replaced the pickaxe head on our Vulcanite pick. It is, uh, well, we already knew that. Uh, so it's really awesome. I also have a Vulcanite excavator. Uh, the hammer has been changed to Vulcanite, uh, making it much faster and um, much stronger. The biggest thing is the durability. It's got now an effective durability of almost 6,000. It's kind of ridiculous, not going to lie. And the mining speed went up to about 3.2, so that's good. Slowly but surely, we're becoming uh, more well-equipped. Uh, I also replaced our sword blade. Now, we didn't really gain any more damage, per se. We're still doing about 5.5 .5 base damage. But I boosted our quartz up to um, 72, so we're doing a little bit of extra slashing damage. We've also got uh, ignite on the blade now, too. So if we face off against an enemy, it will set it on fire. So I, I feel like that's pretty good. I feel like we're doing okay there. Uh, this is a, a great sword. Plus, we have the ability to easily repair this one because we have a lot of Vulcanite. And there's always more of it. I'm not looking for anything with uh, Viroxine or anything like that, which we may very well find in Nether Spheres, but I have no idea. But we can go ahead and let's make a farm. Actually, we're going to make the vat because I've been saying we're going to not the cat, the vat. Because I've been saying we're going to do that for like a couple episodes. So we needed a fluid tank. Which we needed what for? Glass and that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's make ourselves electrical steel. Oh, that's what we needed. We needed electrical steel. That's why I couldn't make the that. Okay, so how does one make electrical steel? I kept forgetting about that. Man. So I need silicone and steel dust or steel ingots in that guy. Or better yet, iron, pulverized coal, and silicone which I can get from, uh, so I don't have any silk touch. Oh, okay, hold on, sand. I happen to have lots of sand. So let's run the sand through the sag mill. So let's run that through there, see if we get any silicone. We are gonna get some silicone, oh good. Uh, so to make electrical steel, we need coal, which I think I just put some coal somewhere. Yes, I did. So we'll go over here real quick. I'm going to say nuts to you. Turn that off real quick. Now let's go ahead and put some coal in there and pulverize that stuff. Um, our power situation is okay for here. Obviously because of this, which I'm actually going to disconnect for now. We don't really need the chemical synthesis running. So this should redirect our power flow to a lot better position. 
Uh, let's go ahead. Let's throw a couple apples in there just to get some power, extra power going. <clears throat> now, the hope would be that I can automate a farm to make wheat and that wheat become bread. Uh, all for less power than what it would take to just make uh, coal or something like that, or like to generate the items themselves. That's always the end goal. Always the end goal. Okay, so we've got that guy. Pulverized coal. Seven. So this should get us enough electrical steel. Oh, good. Fused quartz. I also needed that. Oh, I forgot that I made that. Is that guy. And then how much of this do we have? 20. That's fine. So that'll make ourselves that. In the meantime, let's put that away and put that away. And let's make ourselves... I hate when the key T, the, the, the bow, the T key, not the key T, the, you know what I meant, the T key. It uh, gets overwritten by something, and I don't know what it is. Let's go and figure that one out. All right, so it's going to go, no. Okay, there's our fluid tank. Now, how much can this fluid tank hold? Because I want to compare this to... Doesn't look like 16 buckets. Okay, so it's fairly, fairly small. So the vat, Heptazalian, is made of bronze and gold. So there's some bronze, gold. So if I take you to, I guess not there. Let's grind up our bronze real quick. In that case, I will swap to gold powder. And we'll see what we get here. Because we need to have this alien. Um, oh, man, I'm running low on time on the episode. Son of a bitch. I wasn't even paying attention. Ah, oh, man. Okay. So what do we need for a farming station? Let's at least, let's at least see if we can do this. So you know, basic one of these guys, which is fine. I'm going to make some more copper gears when I'm at it. Um, let's see. Nope. Oh, I need a Z-Logic controller. So we need a slice and spice. Okay, so I'm really not prepared for this at all, evidently. But we can make a machine chassis, so that's cool. Um, we are going to need that for the VAT anyway. Okay, so that's that guy. So if I take you and you, you give me an alien. 24 bit to be exact. I will take you and you. We do have a lot of Eulorium. I Because one of the things we need to make, we need to make a Tesseract. And in order to make a Tesseract, because we can make... Uh, no, I need a diamond. Do I have any diamonds? Come on, yeah, I do. Okay, Tesseract frame. So here's our Tesseract frame. Now we only have five Enderium. Uh, the issue being we need, I think, more than that in order to make the liquid Ender. Or no, we don't need that, do we? We just need uh, Ender eyes, don't we? So that means we need to wait for these to go. Which, how are these guys doing, by the way? 86, 71, 86. Man, they are taking a really long time. This guy's still at 29. I don't get it either. I don't understand. Okay, so the vat is going to be like this. So I can go there. This fluid tank goes in the middle. And then I should have the electrical steel. And... Oh, which I already had, apparently. Cool. I can't put that away. There's no room. The vat. So what does the vat even do? Use to brew Ender IO fluids. Let's just plop this guy down for half a second. So you can apparently do some pretty interesting things with this. Uh, like there's certain types of fuel outputs, I think. So like gunpowder plus redstone gives us rocket fuel and plus hooch, I guess. I'm not sure what fire water is good for. Blaze powder, redstone. Hooch is... 
So we have to put water plus those two. Okay, so we need hooch. So we need water plus potato and sugar. Which sugar we have in pretty good supply. Nutrient dissolution. Interesting. Okay. So there's lots of different things we can do with this. That's cool. Uh, let's claim that reward and then we will finish off the episode. And I will promise to uh, to go gathering and gather all the supplies we need to actually complete building these farms. Because I keep saying we're going to do it and then we just kind of don't do it. Uh, I want... Where's the that? Uh, nope, travel linker. There it is. Nope, that's the wrong one. Oh, good. And there's like stuff for making auto crafting in the farm after. Good, that's what I wanted. Which gives us nutrient dissolution and... Why can't I claim you? Oh, do I need to have that in my inventory? No. Well, that's weird. Well, whatever. We completed the quest. I'll see if I can't get it to accept later. As usual, guys, if you liked the episode, you know what to do. Go ahead, leave a like. We got some really great stuff. We're all geared up with Vulcanite, and we're crazy fast at everything, which is great. Uh, as usual, you can find other work I've done in the, in the description box below. And of course, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.